It's a very expensive one to, to kind of keep. the last few years if we wanted to get back together with Reincarnation to do like a special show. Uh, it hasn't really been something we have discussed too much. Um, but this time around when the question came from from the people behind Under the Dam, you know, we did the first concert ever up here and this is going to be the last concert ever up here. And for us in our career, I guess it's a very special, like, it was a very special night last time. Something, something we remember very well and we managed to record it. And uh, so people kind of all around the world has kind of... Uh, <coughs> Mm. has an idea of, of the Under the Dime concept, what it was. And for many people uh, into rock music, you know, uh, Green Carnation and uh, Under the Dime is kind of the same thing. It's a bit, a bit easier to, to uh, convince the guys this time around, because I remember the first time when we had the idea of doing this concert, like everybody was like, how are we going to get people to go all that way for a concert? behind the, the glass? Oh, that's because uh, so the drum sound won't uh, ruin the, uh, the strings. But does it affect you in any way that you're hidden behind that or for you no, it's the same? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. was awesome but then it was just acoustic so this time yeah, it's yeah. going to be kind of different but hopefully it will be awesome. It's 
been a good process. I think we've uh, managed to. <clears throat> it's like it's like we we play a few songs that we haven't really played a lot, like a place for me, for example. I think we only played that like twice or three times live a long, long time ago. Yeah. So we had to kind of have a new approach to that one, which worked out fine. Like when hearing it on the rehearsal, we did kind of uh, did a few minor. Like adjustments just to make it suit even better, you know, with the music. new element this time uh, for me it's like to have that uh, element with uh, with the string quartet involved in in songs that we've never even ourselves heard with the string quartet before uh, before the rehearsal on uh, on Tuesday <laughs> we only had one rehearsal with the string before today, so. and as long as we play what we're supposed to play they're gonna they're, they're gonna be okay so we, basically we have to play what we plan to yeah, and that's a bit tricky because we have always been a little loose about that. You know, uh, if we have an extra beat or a bar or something, you can't really do that with strings uh, because they read the sheets and they follow them. So, so Kenneth is also going to be a conductor as well as a piano player tonight. And kind of like, uh, yes? No? No? Yeah. start with a rock song, change to acoustic, go to rock. Maybe a little bit also to to show people early on that it's not the same concert as last time, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Because it's going to be quite different from the last time. Uh, some, some of the arrangements are new. <coughs> when uh, Mick is uh, playing uh, other things, mm -hmm. other songs and other instruments. But <coughs> we, uh, we have we, we can play different instruments, so uh, in order to make it easier for us, we'll just switch it around. I'm going to do some acoustic guitar, which uh, a song I wrote. It's natural for me to play the acoustic guitar instead of making uh, or making learning. So I I know it. So therefore, he could do the bass parts instead. Mm -hmm. I can play a little bit of guitar enough for what I need to do here. Yeah. Uh, I also did play some bass a few years ago on my tour, on one or two of the songs. Yeah. Uh, and Kenneth, uh, he played, uh, well, when he started in Brinkalation, he also played a saxophone. 
and, uh, yeah. and also uh, you did a guitar solo as well, I remember. <laughs> That was kind of a like a, I don't know, a not not a show off thing. It was just a fun thing that we ch we changed instruments. You you took the guitar, and you took a guitar, and I took the keys. Yeah. And um, Mick I think took the bass. So we kind of suddenly just in jam session, we just changed instruments. Actually, not a uh, musical instrument from the beginning. I think it was invented in 1917, if I'm not wrong, by a Russian scientist, and it sends out radio waves. Yeah. So it was invented to to measure length. Uh, you break the frequencies in the air. So down here you have the low frequencies, and close to the antenna you have the high. And everything in between is. How you, you have to find sound? some tone or melody to play. But. Are you affected at all by the wind? No. No, so all. it only reacts to only hard by surface. Moment. But if you breathe, really? you can hear it through there. Huh. If I do it hold there and I breathe, <laughs> you can hear a small change of pitch if you're not completely still. Yeah. And are you going to play all these yourself? Yes. Yeah. We have a Greek Busuki from the left. Yeah. A standard Martin guitar. On Which one is your favorite? My favorite is the Busuki. The Busuki. Why is that? Sorry? Why is that? Because uh, it has a more ethnical sound and I'm into world music. Okay. Normally I don't play this heavy music. When we came, the stage was up and, um, and the basics and the lights. Uh, but we're using our equipment, all, all the instruments, and the uh, back line is ours. So it took a little bit of time to get everything running. But uh, and it was a little bit cold actually today, I thought. Yeah. So just 10 degrees or something. And to be outside in a short sleeve and shorts uh, in 10 degrees for five hours is, you know, but. Uh. The LED lights on the stage, it doesn't. Normally, when you have the cans, they are always yeah, like a thousand degrees warm. But. Warming up? Yeah. We only miss the drummer now. He's <laughs> putting on his makeup. That takes a while. I think if we had continued kind of keeping Green Carnation alive on social media and stuff after 2006, we would have reached out to many more people. But I still think there's a lot of people uh, who hasn't really got to grips with us, with us reuniting. So I'm sure that this event is going to kind of uh, give the news out to even more people. Because we have, sa we have said that when we're taking the job of, uh, of rehearsing this, uh, we could just as well be open at least for if we get it our way with other festivals or special shows or something, if somebody really wants Greek Asian, hey, we're able to do that now. 
and we, we and we weren't uh, yeah. one year ago. No. Um, a few festivals uh, <laughs> wanting to book us, but we haven't been able to, to accept any because it's a quite expensive show to produce, and, and it's not like we need to do uh, a lot of shows because we don't have a new album out or anything. So basically, we can do the shows that we really want to do. together by uh, parts that have never been played together before. Uh, it's going to end off a very special day in a very special way. It's a very special song for very many people all, all over the world, I think. And uh, it's ext extremely uh, complex. Uh, when we played it at Wacken in 2001 or two. Um, we played the entire thing, but we had to adjust a few parts to like a live setting. To, to remember one hour of one song that one hour consisting of eight songs. You just have to kind of in your mind just divide it into parts and okay now it's this part or this song you know, so. There's a lot of parts in Light of Day which was kind of like made for playing live. Yeah. More as a atmospheric or, uh, We always have to keep that in mind to have a live edit of it that would work. When we played it the first time at Wacken, I think we're probably the one and only, first and last time ever at Wacken who's played with two keyboard players. And they had two keyboards each, or maybe Bant had three keyboards. It was like full of keyboards. Because we needed, you know, samples and organ and like strings and we needed so many things. So we had two keyboard players crazy. at Wacken. And one of the samples crashed. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So went on stage. Remember that style? So I had to just, uh, <laughs> keep a player balance, and he just had to improvise for the samples. Good. He was shaking so bad. I remember. I had so to sit, sit down. You had to intro. sit down. <laughs> Really? Fantastic. Because all the sounds we had maybe 200 different sounds that were gonna that was kind of made for 
that live concert and they all disappeared. No way. When we got on stage. Really? Yes. Oh my god. And then while comment down, we'll just make up something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just make up something, yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>